Hey everyone, welcome to GoFries. So you probably heard by now the news of AMD reversing their decision about the 400 series supporting the Zen 3 processors. Well, that's good news, but but uh, what what concerns me is the general opinion of this matter. Meaning that I've seen a lot of posts that people are pretty much assuming that. Everything is perfect, fine, and all well with the 400 series supporting the Zen architecture processor. But this is not the case. I'm sorry to be the bearer of this um, not so good news, I, but I wouldn't say it's bad news as well. It's because AMD has also released seven points that you have to consider. So it's like what I mentioned in my video last week about don't get mad at AMD. Well, it's entirely about, well, other than the technical difficulties, many of this decision involves user experience. And that seven points that AMD released is still about user experience. So let's dive into the details. Starting with point number one. Point number one, it says, we will develop and enable our motherboard partners with the code to support Zentry based processor in select beta BIOSes for AMD B450 and X470 motherboards. I think that's uh, pretty clear. Basically, AMD will support the board partners to enable to make this happen. So let's go to point number two. These optional BIOS updates will disable support for many existing AMD. Ryzen desktop processor models to make the necessary ROM space available. Now, this is a very important point because let's say if um, you have a first generation, first gener generation Ryzen on a B450 and you think that you want to use the fourth generation, which is uh, Zen 3, this might not be the case. So, yes, there will be people who think that, hey, um, I like to swap around processors or I have a backup and all these kind of things, all sorts of condition, conditions or thinking. But basically, if you are thinking that one update will still allow you four generations of processor support, well, this is not the case. That's why uh, if you've watched the video by Gamers Nexus, they've highlighted that this ROM space issue is legit. And therefore, with the BIOS that will be available, it's entirely up to the board partners to de decide which range or how many process processors to be removed. So yeah, if you have a B450 board using old processor, hoping to go with um, the Zen 3, fourth generation processor and keeping that one as a backup, that's not the case. It's most likely that first generation will be off support. And bear in mind, there are some Zen uh, Ryzen 2000 series, they are actually first generation. For example, the APU models, 2200G and 2400G, those are actually Zen architecture, same as the first gen. So those are likely to be removed. Um, let's move on to point number three. The select beta BIOSes will enable a one-way upgrade path for AMD Ryzen processors with Zen 3 coming later this year. Flashing back to an older BIOS version will not be supported. Understandably, flashback is always is available generally on the higher end boards. I've not recalled seeing any BIOS flashback available on B450 anyway. But basically, this is to say that once you flash the BIOS, you will not be able to go back. Meaning that based on like the analogy or the cases, case I mentioned earlier, you have a first generation, you updated it for the fourth generation, you can't go back. It's stuck there. Moving on to the fourth point. To reduce the potential for confusion, our intent is to offer BIOS download only to verified customers of 400 series motherboard who have purchased a new desktop processor with Zen 3 inside. This will help us ensure that the customers have bootable processor on hand after BIOS flash, minimizing the risk a user could get into a no-boot situation. So 
basically you need to be a Zen3 processor owner to be able to download the BIOS. But I, we have no idea how AMD and the board partners intend to do that yet. But this is good. This, is make, this ensures that you don't accidentally update the BIOS and disable the support. For example, again, if you're using a first generation for some reason, or maybe even the second generation on the B450, what if the, the ROM size is limited and with the update, your processor will not be supported? It doesn't matter that you, you don't have a third gen processor. Some people, they just like to update BIOS, right? They are not intending to go with the latest generation processor. They have the they have they have pretty much all things are fine with their system, but they think well maybe it can be better. Maybe it can have um, better memory overclocking and support, and they flash it without reading the conditions, and that could actually break their system. Break in the sense that no support, and then they are stuck. It causes a bad user experience. You're on a first or a Zen or Zen Plus architecture and updating the BIOS and it got removed, that's going to put you in a terrible position. So what AMD is trying to do is to avoid this kind of scenario, which is a great move. Then fifth point, timing and availability of the BIOS will vary and may not immediately coincide with the availability of the first Zen 3 based processor. Now, this is a very important point. I know many of uh, you bought the B450 board with the assumption that it will support even to Zen 3. This point is telling you that even when Zen 3 is available, that doesn't mean the BIOS will be available for your board. So, how soon can you B450 owners get to use a Zen 3 processor on your board? Very much depends on how fast the, the brand you're with will release the BIOS. Yes, you are totally at the mercy of the brand partners. Zen 3 is out. You can see it on the shelf. You can even buy it. It can be in your house. But that doesn't mean you get to use it. You have to wait for the BIOS. Then let's move on to the sixth point. This is a final pathway AMD can enable for 400 series motherboard to add new CPU support. CPU releases beyond Zen 3 will require a newer motherboard. Well, that's AMD making it clear. This is the last thing that they'll do for you. Any more like Zen, maybe Zen 4 or whatever processor that is to come, no more you have to change your motherboard. No more B450 support for you. And let, lastly, let's look at point number seven, which says AMD continues to recommend that customers choose, a, choose an AMD 500 series motherboard for the best performance and features with our new CPUs, which like what I said uh, before, at least I know I said that in a Facebook group, <laughs> basically, uh, you have to understand that Zen 3 is a new architecture. Now, come to think of it, I actually did say something along the lines of that. You're buying a 2018 chipset to use on the 2019 processor and expect it to work with a 2020 processor. So, what happens is right now that you are basically, you might actually hinder your performance, your, your experience. You might actually hurt your experience with the new processor. You see, the Zen 3 will be 4th gen, Ryzen 4000 series. B450 was designed for Zen Plus, which is Zen, Zen Plus, um, a refresh of the Zen. It's not even Zen 2. So we are looking at a 2020 architecture processor to be used on a chipset that's two years ago. So there might be complications we wouldn't know, or there might be features to actually not giving you the full potential of the Zen 3 architecture processor. So AMD wants you to have the best experience. So put it in a nutshell, if you intend to use a B450 board with Zen 3 architecture processor, yes you can. But from what I see, that you could actually suffer some performance hit. And that is why AMD recommends you to go with an AMD 
500 series motherboard. So, all right, that's it for now. I hope you understand better this the situation. Yes, it's good that AMD listened to the people holding Pitchfork, uh, getting, wanting the support. You do get the support, but it comes at the cost at what, highlight, what is highlighted by many other tech media. The, the, the difficulty, the challenges is still there. It's just that AMD is now giving in to this request with the conditions stated over the past, the seven points that I've read to you guys. There are the BIOSes, they have the ROM size limitation. The, the release of the BIOS will be depending. It's not won't be immediate. And even when you get it, it's, um, it will be such that some processors, the older ones, will definitely be removed. As to how many will be removed, we do not know. So as long as you know all these conditions, it's all good for you. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.